Good morning, dear students. Today we are discussing the human reproductive system, part one. Male reproductive system. Reproduction. What is reproduction? Reproduction is the process of producing new individuals of the same kind. Here you can see some examples of reproduction in different organisms plants as well as animals reproduce in different way there are different types of reproduction you can see what is the need of reproduction in organisms is yes. why it is necessary this process is essential for the continuance of life on earth to maintain their generation you can say that right yes reproduction is very essential for the continuance of life on earth patterns of reproduction mainly there are two types of reproduction you can see in organisms first one asexual reproduction what is asexual reproduction the reproductive units consist of any portion of the parent body. Reproductive units consist of any portion of the parent body. No gametes are formed. No mixing of genetic material, therefore no variation. Only one parent is involved. In asexual reproduction, only one parent is involved. It is a rapid process during favorable condition. These are the main points you have to remember in asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is another type of reproductive method. In this type of reproduction, gametes are produced in male and female sex organs respectively. Gametes, another name is sex cells. Two types of sex cells we can see here, sperms and egg. Sperms are produced from male sex organs. Egg is produced from female sex organs. The sperm and egg fuse to form zygote. That process is called fertilization. This zygote, fertilized zygote, develop into embryo. Here, genetic mixing is happening. That will help for variation increased variation then here number of offsprings are very less fewer number of offsprings we can see in sexual reproduction usually two parents are involved male and female parents are involved in sexual reproduction but in some organism from single parent yes two sex organs are produced can you name that type of organism? Example, bisexual plant. Then here, andrisium and gynesium produced in a single flower. That type of organism, we call it as hermaphrodite. Both sex organs are produced in single organism. That is hermaphrodite organs. Then, it is a very slow process. Some secondary sexual characteristics. Distribution of hair on body and face that you can see in males. Breast in females. Muscularity stronger built in males. Skeletal structure. Psych and behavior. Deeper voice in males. These are some secondary sexual characteristics. Let us learn reproduction in humans. There are two types of reproductive system we can see in humans. Male reproductive system and female reproductive system. Male reproductive system and female reproductive system consist of two types of reproductive part. That is primary reproductive part and accessory reproductive parts. Primary reproductive part include gonads. Testes in males. Here you can see these are 
testis in males and ovaries in females. These are ovaries in females. Why these organs coming under primary reproductive part? Because sperms are produced from testis, then egg is produced from ovaries. Other all structures present in both male and female reproductive system. Other all structures, ducts and glands are called accessory reproductive parts. Accessory reproductive parts include all those structures, ducts and glands which help in transfer of two kinds of sex cells leading to fertilization and in the growth and development of the egg up to the birth of the baby. Male reproductive system. There are different organs present in male reproductive system. They are testis, sperm duct or vas deferens, accessory glands, penis and urethra. These are the different organs present in male reproductive system. In human, male consists of a pair of testis. Here you can see that the singular form is T-E-S-T-I-S, -E testis, then plural T-E-S-T-E-S. -E -E then what is the function of this testis? To produce sperms. Then this testis is coming under primary reproductive part because it produces sperms. Other all organs coming under accessory reproductive part. They are sperm duct or vas deferens. What is the function of sperm duct or vas deferens? It will carry sperms from testis. From each testis to carry sperms. Then another part that is accessory glands. There are three main accessory glands you can see here. They are seminal vesicle, prostate gland, bulbourethral gland. These are the three glands present in male reproductive system. Then the next structure or next organ is penis for transferring sperm into female vagina. Then Another organ that is urethra, it contained inside the penis. Here you can see that these are the different organs present in male reproductive system. Let us learn the structure of testis. We told testis are the primary reproductive part of male reproductive system. Where is it located? The two testes are oval organs. Here you can see that oval organs which are contained in thin walled sac of skin called scrotum. Here you can see that scrotum. That is a thin walled sac of skin. In the embryonic stage, the testes are contained within the abdomen. They descend into the scrotum shortly before birth. In the embryonic stage, it will be in the abdominal region. Testes are in the abdominal region. Then they descend into the scrotum shortly before birth. An abnormal condition results when they do not descend and it leads to sterility. That is incapability to produce sperms. An abnormal condition Testis do not descend into the scrotum that will be in the abdominal region. In that case, it leads to sterility that is incapability to produce sperms. A slightly higher temperature inside the body does not permit maturation of sperms. Sperms are produced in the testis at a temperature 2 to 3 degrees Celsius lower than that of the body. It is the body temperature 37 degrees Celsius. 
then sperms are produced in the testis at a temperature 2 to 3 degree celsius lower that means 34 degree celsius to 35 degree celsius sperm will mature then how this temperature regulation happens in testis when it is too hot the skin of the scrotum loosens so that the testis hang down away from the body when it is cold the skin contracts in folded manner and draws testis closer to the body for warmth in this way testis regulate the temperature for the production of sperms but in the normal condition being in a separate sac suspended from the body the testis escape too much body heat structure of testis what is the structure of testis each testis is encased in a capsule here you can see that it is internally partitioned into around 250 lobules each lobule contains seminiferous tubules here you can see that these are a seminiferous tubules each lobule contains seminiferous tubules the sperms are produced inside the seminiferous tubules then that process production of sperms are called spermatogenesis another structure present in each lobule that is interstitial cells or Leydig cells I told you each testis consists of about 250 lobules each lobule consists of seminiferous tubules and interstitial cells or Leydig cells. Seminiferous tubules produce sperms. Sperm producing cells are there. Then interstitial cells or Leydig cells produce the male hormone testosterone. Very important. Interstitial cells produce the male hormone testosterone. Where is it found? These interstitial cells are packing tissues between the coils of the seminiferous tubules the sperm producing cells of the seminiferous tubules keep multiplying and produce sperms the mature sperms pass into a small network of tubes here you can see that from the network arise 12 to 14 ducts these 12 to 14 ducts we call it as efferent ducts which join a small tubular knot. Here you can see that. That is called epididymis. This small tubular knot fitting like a cap on the upper pole of the testis. Here you can see that. Then the epididymis is continued by the side of the testis. Side of the testis up to its back from where a distinct tube sperm duct or vas deferens here you can see that vas deferens arises the epididymis internally contains a single coil structure here you can see a network of s tubes or a knot of tubes we can see but that is a single coil structure single coil tube which travels from the upper part of the testis to its back here you can see that and then it continues to the sperm duct or vas deferens the epididymis stores sperms what is the function of this epididymis this, this will store sperms for some days during which they mature and become Motor. Then the main function of epididymis is storing the sperm. The next reproductive organ present in male reproductive system it is sperm duct or vas deferens, which is the primary reproductive part. Testis is the primary reproductive part of male reproductive system. 
Now we can discuss sperm duct or vas deferens. The sperm duct from each testis, here you can see that, travels upward into the abdomen, passing through an inguinal canal. Here you can see that. But in some males, due to pressure in the abdomen, the intestine bulges into the scrotum. Here you can see is this area that is scrotum. What is scrotum? Scrotum is sac of skin. Sac of skin. This testis is located inside the scrotum. Due to pressure in the abdomen, the intestine bulges into the scrotum through the inguinal canal and causes hernia. That is a disease that we can see in some males. Due to pressure in the abdomen, the intestine bulges into the scrotum through the inguinal canal and causes hernia. Accessory glands coming under accessory reproductive part of male reproductive system. There are three main accessory glands are there. Seminal vesicle, prostate gland, bulbourethral gland. Seminal vesicles. First we can discuss seminal vesicles. Where is the location of seminal vesicles? A pair of lobulated glands. Here you can see that located between the posterior surface of the urinary bladder. This is urinary bladder. This is located between the posterior surface of the urinary bladder and rectum. Ducts from each seminal vesicle joins the corresponding sperm duct. Here you can see these are sperm duct or vas deferens. Then these seminal vesicles joins the corresponding ducts from seminal vesicles joins the corresponding sperm duct just before it unites with the urethra. This is urethra. Then what is the function of the seminal vesicles? It produces a secretion which serves as the medium for the transportation of sperms. It produces a secretion which serves as the medium for the transportation of the sperms. The mixture of this fluid, this secretion and sperms produces a fluid called semen. Then mixture of a secretion from seminal vesicle and sperms together we call it a semen. That is a milky fluid. In the sperm duct, sperms are sluggish. Then by the addition of this secretion, they become active. Then this is also the function of is the secretion produced from seminal vesicle. is acting as a transportation of the sperms, medium for the transportation of the sperms. Then this, uh, due to this secretion from seminal vesicle, this sperm become active. These are the two functions of is secretion from seminal vesicles. The next accessory gland is prostate gland. Where is the location of prostate gland? It is a bilobed structure. Here you can see that this is a bilobed structure which surrounds the urethra close to its origin from the urinary bladder. Then this is a bilobed structure. It surrounds the urethra close to its origin from the urinary bladder. Then what is the function of this prostate gland? It pours an alkaline secretion. This prostate gland pours an alkaline secretion into the semen as it passes through the urethra. The semen passes through the urethra. This prostate gland Pose an alkaline secretion, it neutralizes acid in female vagina. What is the function of this? Is alkaline secretion in prostate gland. 
this alkaline secretion pours into the semen as it passes through the urethra it neutralizes acid in female vagina that is the function of prostate gland the next accessory gland present in male reproductive system is bulbo urethral glands or cowper's gland here you can see that this is bulbo urethral gland these are two small ovoid glands which open into the urethra here you can see this is urethra just before it enters the penis then what is the function of this bulbo urethral gland the secretion of this bulbo urethral gland serves as a lubricant the location and function of these accessory glands are very important for examination you have to remember this penis is another accessory reproductive organ present in male reproductive system where is it located it lies in front of the scrotum this penis is cylindrical in shape what is the function of penis it serves for the passing out of both semen and urine it is a highly vascular organ having erectile tissues and vascular spaces what is the meaning of vascular organ it consists of large number of blood vessels then in a single ejaculation average amount of semen is 2 to 3 ml it consists of 20 crores to 40 crores sperms we can go through revision state the function of each of the following first one seminal vesicle prostate gland third one cowper's gland fourth one sperm duct you can check the slides and find out the answer write the location of the following seminal vesicle prostate gland bulbo urethral gland testis penis go through the slides and find out the answer thank you children have a good day if you like my channel please like share and subscribe thank you